Child pneumonia and malnutrition are on the rise in Afghanistan as winter sets in and families struggle to feed or heat. The International Committee of the Red Cross says 20 million people face acute food insecurity and that's mean, that means hunger. It's urging aid agencies and governments who have left the country after the Taliban's power grab last year to now return to Afghanistan. A warning, viewers may find some of the images disturbing. Mahabeen and her family huddle close. Afghanistan's winters are always brutal, but with only straw to burn, this one is especially harsh. And for her children, the stakes are higher than ever. Our living conditions have worsened. We have no source of income. I can't take my children to the clinic when they're sick. Despite the freezing cold, coal and wood piles high in Kabul. Economic hardship means millions can't afford food, never mind fuel. There are no buyers. People don't have money. They can't even find a job that will allow them to afford a meal. The full extent of Afghanistan's plight is laid bare at this children's hospital. Cases of pneumonia, 55% higher this year compared to last. Some parents worry that even if doctors can help, it won't be long until they're forced to come back. If he's treated here and we take him home, he'll get sick again because we can't afford to heat our home and provide him and my other children with proper nutrition. It's a grim choice that millions of parents must now contend with. Afghan families today face an impossible choice, to eat or to buy heat. And really, they can't afford either, resulting in a frightening rise in malnutrition and pneumonia cases. After the Taliban stormed to power last year, many international organizations withdrew. Now the ICRC says it's time for governments and aid agencies to return to Afghanistan in its hour of need. And I'm now joined by Florian Westphal. He is head of Save the Children Germany. He recently visited Afghanistan, looking after the NGO's projects there. Now, how desperate is the situation for children in Afghanistan right now? The situation for children in Afghanistan is truly alarming. I think what we just saw in your report really illustrates that you have an estimated more than 9 million children facing critical levels of hunger. And when I went to see the work of some of our mobile health teams that look after these children, it becomes apparent. You hear the same story time and again. The story of a, a, a family where the father earns maybe a dollar a day, if he's lucky, with 10 children living in one room without heating. And the last time they had meat on the table was eight months ago. So they basically live off bread and water, maybe a bit of rice. And obviously, in those circumstances, the rates of malnutrition, of ill health amongst especially the smallest children are increasing rapidly. Mm. Now, your projects require you to cooperate with the radical Islamic Taliban who deny girls access to education, for example. D doesn't that cause problems? Well, we've always made it very, very clear that we believe girls must have access to secondary education in particular because it is their right to do so, but also because those are the teachers and the doctors and the nurses of tomorrow that need to be educated now. The picture is a little bit more nuanced in the sense that you do have provinces where girls can still attend secondary education. And obviously what we also really support a lot through our work is education at the primary level in the communities for both girls and boys, because that's hugely important. Mm. Now, uh, what do you ask the international community should do now? Um, in the short term, we do need continued and increased funding to confront the humanitarian emergency in Afghanistan. With the winter coming on, we need more means to be able to keep people warm and to help feed them. In the long term, the international community needs to find a way to re-engage with the country. And that also means dealing with the de facto authorities, because emergency aid is not enough to keep a country of almost 40 million people afloat. 
we do need a more development focused, more long term approach to really be able to help Afghanistan and its children. Thank you very much. Florian Westphal there from Save the Children, Germany.